doing deconvolution. Part 1, Parameter Verification In this part we will look at deconvolution. We will look at a few general things and specifically at parameter verification. Part 2 will detail the deconvolution process itself. If you load a file generated by one of the microscope manufacturers, for which Huygens has a file reader, all usable data will already be fine. If not, the parameter verification will give you the opportunity to enter the correct values. The main menu of the program displays all available functions. The main window shows all images currently loaded, complete with thumbnails. The menu bar above this window provides easy access to different functions. The window to the right displays detailed statistical information. When an image is loaded, its color scheme can be changed with the buttons underneath the thumbnail. Gray, emission, global and false color schemes can be selected. Before deconvolution can be done, the microscopic parameters have to be verified. The easiest way of doing this in the newest version of Huygens is by right-clicking on the thumbnail and then selecting Edit Parameters. Here you can edit all parameters and set them as verified when ready. You can also edit the parameters through the Parameter Wizard. This wizard can be reached in three ways. The first way is through the deconvolution menu at the top of the screen. The second one, the second button underneath the image thumbnail. The parameter wizard can also be accessed by launching the deconvolution wizard. You will be prompted to verify the parameters. The wizard itself consists of two panes. The left pane will display helpful information and sometimes links to the SVI website. The right pane is the main portion of the wizard. By default, all image data is pulled from the image metadata. You can also specify a parameter template that you have created beforehand. All image data will then be pulled from this document. Please note that only images created in exactly the same way with exactly the same microscope settings can use the same template. Press the arrow button at the bottom to continue the process. Note that in front of every entry, there is a bullet point. White means that the value was read from the image metadata. Black indicates that a value has been edited. Green indicates that the value has already been verified before. Orange means a default value is used, and blue indicates an estimated value. The first field describes the type of microscope that was used. For multi-photon microscopes select on focal and enter an excitation photon count higher than 1. Next, the numerical aperture of the objective lens can be set. The refractive indexes of the lens and the medium can also be entered. Different refractive indexes result in a changing point spread function deeper in your specimen. The refractive indexes can also be selected from the drop-down list. Now, press the arrow button in the Rectem to continue. The next parameters have to be verified for each channel. The channels can be selected in the drop-down list. Press the arrow button to continue. For each channel the parameters can be verified here. The excitation photon count is higher than 1 in multi-photon microscopes. The excitation wavelength is the wavelength of the excitation light. This is usually a laser line. The emission wavelength is the wavelength of the light emitted by the subject. In case the particular channel was recorded with a different microscope, the type can be selected here. The same parameters can also be verified for the other channels. If the parameters of all the channels have been set, press All Channels Done, or the arrow. The next step is the verification of the sampling densities in X, Y, Z and possibly time. The fields are color-coded. An example. Orange and red fields indicate undersampling. Undersampling is detrimental to the deconvolution result and should be avoided. Blue and purple fields indicate oversampling. This does not influence the deconvolution result but will lead to increased memory and CPU usage. A white field indicates a value falls within the expected normal range. Press the Set Cover Slip button if you wish to edit the cover slip settings before finishing the setup. 
In the cover slip section the position of the cover slip can be verified. This is the position of the glass interface between the immersion and embedding medium. The position is relative to the first slice in the stack. The light direction is the direction in which the light travels. This means that with an upwards light direction the objective lens is closest to the bottom slice of the stack. A downwards direction stands for an inverted microscope. The objective quality can be set here. Values range from poor to perfect. For easier verification of the cover slip position the visual editor can also be used. Here the imaging direction can also be set as well as the position of the slide. The image can be moved and zoomed with the view controls. The cover slip position can be estimated by clicking the button. Furthermore, the cover slip position can be changed by simply dragging the bar up or down. Finally all verified parameters are displayed for one final verification. The parameters can also be saved as a template here. This template can then be used for verification of other images, or in the batch processor. This concludes the parameter verification. In part 2 the deconvolution itself shall be detailed. Thank you for watching. If there are any questions remaining please contact Scientific Volume Imaging.